one. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me. Yes, yep, I got a freaking pelican. <laughs> Real. Well, guys, I am headed up north on a family fishing trip. We're going after walleye and maybe some trout. But I figured while I'm on the way up there, I'm going to stop here at this local river and uh, chase some freshwater drum. Pretty much guarantee you I'm going to catch other species as well, most likely pike and could get walleye. But uh, anyways, we're going to try and get out there. We just picked up some really fresh Nate's Baits minnows. So thanks for that, Nathan. Uh, let's get down there. Jesse's getting fish chasing up. Just a jig. So uh, I'm gonna hook it up like this. I'm actually not quite sure how I should be hooking it, but we'll do this way first. Uh, they're still a little frozen. There you go. It was this one. Yeah. It was this one. Yep. All right. Let's get some fish. I got some insider knowledge that apparently they're out there in that seam. Let it drop down slowly. Yeah, that was a pretty nice pike chasing you up there. You didn't put a minnow on there. I know, they're eating it without it. What, was it a pike or what? Yeah, I'm just taking it right here. Oh, right there, yeah. They don't even eat minnow. You didn't take it, you didn't put my minnow on right here. You lost that you got. Fish on. <laughs> you took the thing, dude. That was a quick release, it was just a pike. Not really what I'm after, anyways. You need to loosen that or tighten that drag up majorly. Keep pressure on him. Oh my! No, it's probably a pike. Oh, it is a drum too. Bring him over here. Nice size. <laughs> That's a big drum. Nice. I told you it was a drum. It, it spun a lot, a lot. And I just had it. Just chucked. I just chucked it out there and jigged it. Wake up. There he goes. There you go. Good to go. Yeah, now yeah, you woke up. Okay. Cool. Next. Holy crap, man. You got a carp. <laughs> Let me keep, get down keep, there. keep your rod up. Keep your rod up. Tip up. Tip up. What do you got? Man, okay. your draw your drag should definitely be. Oh whatever. Oh, hey. oh you got a big carp. No, leave it, leave it, leave it. You're gonna have to fight him. Keep him away from the trap. Away from the trap. Drag him this way, Jess. Yeah. You have to tire him out. Don't put too much pressure. <laughs> you got a big. You got a big old carp, yeah. You think you could be master? No, ah, I don't know. He's big then. That's a big carp. Woo! <laughs> he ate it. He ate it right in the mouth. Did he? Yeah. I'll help you. Look at my rod. <laughs> yeah. There, let me go on this side of you. Try and grab him in the mouth. Yeah. He's still taking drag. <laughs> I always wanted to catch a fish like that. Of course, this guy has to be chewing freaking sunflower seeds. Here it is. Oh, you have to keep him away from that edge. He'll cut off on the edge. Let him tire out first. He's getting tired. No, but like keep him away from the edge. Oh he my goodness, that could be mastered. Okay, now that he's getting tired, bring him over here. Make sure you get him up first and then bring him over. He keeps going down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep here. Grab him. Bring him right to the edge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Grab him. Don't let him go. Oh my. He ate it. You Is that it. a mask? Oh, 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 oh. Jesse. <laughs> I 
I want some pickles. That's a big, big freaking carp. How heavy is he, do you think? Woo, there's some weight there. Okay, hang on. I know there's water on the lens or whatever. Okay. Most, 30. Mouth closed. We got 30 and a quarter. Make sure you get everything. The nose and the tail. All right, guys. That is a beautiful, beautiful carp. We're going to get a few more pictures and we'll put them back in the water. Put them back nicely. Let him, let him get some water first so he wakes up before we release him. Just keep your mouth in his thumb. Or your thumb in his mouth, I should say. All right. Well, he seems pretty live. We let him go. Let him go. Way you go, buddy. Live another day. And this nice gentleman just gave us a nice, probably 22 inch walleye. We'll have to get him a stringer. Wow, I just had a bite right there. You think that's a mastery? I don't know. Oh, I got a fish. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's a pretty good pull to it. Just pulling straight on. Might be a walleye. Well, I don't know. I'm done guessing. Jess, you want to move my ruler so I don't step on it? Oh, that's a nice fish, actually. Yeah, that's a drum. Nice drum. Nice. Nice drum. Oh. Nice drum. Sweet. Really should have brought my net. Oh wow, that's a nice drum. The beauty of barbless, that hook, oh, he bent my hook right open. Look at that, guys. Wow. All right, that's my first drum of the year. Put him back while he's nice and healthy. Here we go. Twenty-three and a half. What size is the master? This guy just caught a big carp. What size is the master for carp? Thirty. He got a thirty. Thirty-two, right? No, thirty and a quarter. Nope. I don't even have my fish on. I had it in my truck, but I took it out because I just need to get something. Fish on. I got one too. Oh, Actually, I have another rod if you want. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh, look, I got a little drum. And I got a bike. I got a little drummer. I hooked him beautifully. Look at this nice drum. Oh. Well, we got to double up. <laughs> All right. Grow, go back, grow to 41 inches, then I want to catch you again. Actually, I don't mind catching pike. Oh, they're, fun. they're fun to catch. Oh, they're and when nothing else is biting, yeah. the pike still are. They will apply to you. Hey, we could do a catch and pluck. Harvesting Manitoba sea kelp, <laughs> and then it's delicious. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be me. <laughs> oh, that, is, that is disgusting. That is. <laughs> Especially in like the brackish water. <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Did you one? Yep, I got a freaking pelican. <laughs> Real. I didn't mean to cast that far. What have you got? <laughs> Look, they're gonna fly into a line now. You gotta be kidding me! Which one do you have? This one! I did not mean to cast that far, now I hooked a stupid pelican in the wing. You gotta be kidding oh, me. Gotta reel them in and deal with them. Well, <laughs> this is gonna be a rodeo. I'm gonna get stick. No, no. I don't know how I'm gonna get them off. I don't wanna leave the hook in them. We had a big net we could just hook net, net up and grab the hook. It's not a barbed hook, so if it does rip off, it's just gonna come out. It, it'll, he'll pick it out with his wing or his beak. You gotta be kidding me! Does it feel about the pull of a fish or more? It just feels like a pull. I'm not sure if I'll put this in my YouTube video or not. This is definitely not on purpose. It's okay. It's okay. I want to help you. That beak looks scary. Wow. It's sharp, Darren. Careful, don't you. Man, I do not want to touch that. Those beaks are sharp. Whew. I have a pair of gloves in the car. I'm going to grab them. All right. I got my gloves, insulated gloves. They should help anyways. 
that beak that beak has a nasty point on it so this is not cool get him in there trying but every time i get a like, move over that way just get keep him away from the trap i do not want this jig staying in him come here keep coming just grab his beak and try and close that's it. what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let him bite me That's cold water. Oh, well, too bad. Come here, I want you to bite on good and proper. There we go. You got some pretty good clamping pressure there. All right. This is not a situation I ever figured I'd be in, but here we go. Jig is off. Make sure he's not wrapped. Bring in a jig. All right, there you go. Bingo. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Got pretty good clamping pressure actually on that beak. Did it? Yeah. All right, let's get a couple more fish and we'll get headed out. Oh! <laughs> I got a sucker. No. In the mouth too. You must have ate it. What in the world? I want both. <laughs> a sucker in the mouth. Hooked him in the mouth with all three trebles too. Get away. Here, pliers, please. Like that. Cool. Hold all right. Yeah, I'll take a picture. Now, if I was here with a truck, I would be keeping this for bait. For what? He's what? got a little bit of blood, but it's just in the mouth. He'll be fine. <laughs> you got him? Let's put him back in the water. Definitely not the target species, but... There you go. Well, guys, the fish are still biting pretty good. We caught a bunch of different species today, multi-species. To me, it's more about the catch than just catching master anglers, but it's always cool to catch master angler. Congrats to Jesse for catching his master angler. Uh, we'll put it in the Manitoba Master Angler Awards app later on tonight. Um, and yeah, the pelican thing, that is definitely a first for me. I wasn't sure how to handle it, but the best thing is to just bring him in, get the hook out and let him go back. He went back nice and healthy. <laughs> yeah, not much I can say about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Share it out with your friends if you like what you see. Thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And while you're at it, check out his channel. What's it called? Jesse's Outdoors. Jesse's Outdoors. I will link it in the description below. And as always, buy Nate's Baits, the best baits out there. That's all I got for now. Have a good one. Bye.